Rated T for Teen. A ninja theory always really pay particular attention to character, not just characters in the game, but also environments, the lighting, everything we try and um, give character to. Character is really important because it's the thing that draws you into the game. If you connect with your character, then you're in that place, in that emotion. Uh, character is ultimately what makes us like or dislike a person. Journey to the West is uh, an ancient Chinese story. It's incredibly popular. Journey to the West is a story about two characters who not only go on a physical journey to the West, they are going on an emotional journey where they are discovering who they themselves are and they change and grow over time. And so when we wanted to adapt it, we took free reign in kind of mashing together lots of different elements of popular culture that we like. The core idea of the game is really the interplay between Monkey and Trip. So we've got these two characters, Monkey, who's uh, a strong, brutish character, and Trip, who's uh, kind of weak, but she's uh, very tech savvy. So she is stuck on this slave ship with Monkey, and she manages to escape, as does Monkey. And she decides to use this guy as a tool, a weapon, to help her get through this very dangerous land and get herself home. Monkey is a wild man, self-sufficient, standalone individual. It's kind of like Tarzan having a really bad day. Essentially, he doesn't need anybody. He's very dismissive of culture and looking after people because he's been hurt by it time and time again. Trip is the complete opposite to Monkey. She's always lived within a, a community of peaceful people. She's the brains of the, of the couple, really. I mean, if you put yourself in Monkey's shoes, how would you feel if you were minding your own business, suddenly someone made you a slave? Uh, and then told you to do something you didn't want to do. She can choose whether he lives or whether he dies. How do I know you're coming back? You die, I die, right? Yeah. The performance capture with Andy Serkis is always a, a really great experience. Andy co-directed the performance capture. And I think Andy is undoubtedly one of the best character actors we have in the UK or anywhere. <laughs> he has a very particular way of warming everyone up. One of Andy's key skills is being able to actually you know, make them relax and understand how it's not that different to a film production. The first morning when we got together, he said, right, everyone outside into the large area. And we ended up kind of running around for quite a few minutes, playing tag, going under people's legs to free us up, and he's sprinting. And With 20 adults running around trying to do this um, all at once, it's very hectic, and the energy is just there. <laughs> Alex Garland is a, is a novelist and screenplay writer, and he's, he's responsible for The Beach, 28 Days Later, Sunshine. But I want to say the right thing about him, because he's brilliant. Because we wanted the, the game to feel like a movie when you're playing it, we thought we've got to find a really great screenwriter. So when Alex came on board, it gave us an opportunity to work with someone who's a master of his craft in an area that we don't actually know a lot about. And so what he brought to the game was this um, amazing kind of almost directorial eye of how to tell a story. And he worked with us for two years on that and we learned a hell of a lot from him. At a very high level, Enslave was inspired by the Chinese story of A Journey to the West. But if we move below that, Enslaved is inspired by Ninja Theory's desire to make beautiful games, um, to create believable characters in beautiful settings um, and give them really exciting situations to deal with.